Hi students! So welcome back to my YouTube channel and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about simplifying rational algebraic expression. Okay, so we have here, for example, simplify the following. So for number 1 is 21 over 49. So what are the factors of 21? Okay, so the factors of 21 is 7 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. Next, what are the factors of 49? So, 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is equal to 49. Then, simplify. See, 7 has the same number here at the denominator, so they are cancelled because 7 divided by 7 is 1. Okay, so the simplified form of 21 over 49 is 3 over 7. Next, in number 2, so we have 18 over 36. So what are the factors of 18? It could be um, 2 times 3 times 3. Why? Uh, because 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. Next, what are the factors of 36? So, it could be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Why? Because 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 times 3 is 36. Now, let's divide. So, since 2 divided by 2 is 1, so cancel. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that is also cancelled. And also, 3 divided by 3 is also cancelled because 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, our simplified form here is, since there is no number uh, left in our numerator, so just write 1 over the number and the denominator, so we have 2. So, the simplified form of 18 over 36 is 1 half. Next, in number 3, we have 40 over 60. So, what are the factors of 40? So, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Because 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. Next, what are the factors of 60? So, we have 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Because 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 12. 12 times 5 is 60. So, now, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, cancel. 2 divided by 2 is also 1. So, that is also cancel. And 5 divided by 5 is also 1, so that is cancels. The simplified form of 40 over 60 is 2 over 3. Next, we have here in number 4, 28 divided by, or 28 over 35. So, what are the factors of 28? So, we have 2 times 2 times 7. Because 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 7 is 28. Over, so we have here 5 times 7 because 5 times 7 is 35. So since 7 divided by 7 is 1, so that is cancel. So we don't have to cancel anymore. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4 over 5. So, our simplified form of 28 over 35 is 4 over 5. For example, in number 5 and 6, we have already the variable. So, how about if we have the variable? So, first, in number 5, we have 3x plus 3y over 3s minus 3r. So, what we're going to do is just first to factor and then simplify. Okay, let's have first the numerator. So, what is the common factor in the numerator? So, we have 3x plus 3y. So, they have the same coefficients 3. Okay? So, now, let's divide. 
3 divided by, or 3x divided by 3 is x, plus 3y divided by 3 is y. To check it, 3 times x, we have 3x. 3 times y, we have 3y. We have positive 3y. Okay, over. What is the common factor here in our denominator? So, we have also 3. Okay, so the uh, 3s divided by 3 is s minus 3r divided by 3 is r. Okay, so to check it, 3 times s is we have 3s minus 3 times r is 3r. Okay, and then now simplify. Since 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that is cancel. So our final answer here is x plus y over s minus r. Okay, so that is the simplified form of 3x plus 3y over 3s minus 3r. Next in number 6, so we have x squared. So we have here exponent na. So 3, uh, x squared minus 4 over x ma, uh, plus 2. So again, let's factor first the numerator. Okay? So the factors of x squared is x times x. And the next is think of a number. If we multiply the number is negative 4. And if we add them, the, uh, the answer is 0 because we don't have here the middle term. So that is negative and positive 2. Because positive 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then negative 2 plus positive 2 is 0. So that is the factored form of this equation. Okay, next in our denominator, so just copy x plus 2. Since we cannot um, simplify already or we cannot factor x plus 2. Next is, let's simplify. Since x plus 2 is the same with x plus 2, so that is 1. So cancel. So we have here the answer x minus 2. Okay? So the answer in number 6 is x minus 2. Okay, for the last example, so we have x squared plus x minus 12 over x squared plus 2x minus 8. So again, let's just factor the numerator and then the denominator. So the factors of x squared plus x minus 12 is x times x. x times x is x squared. Then if you multiply, the answer is negative 12. And if you add them, the answer is positive 1. So we have positive 4 and negative 3. Because positive 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Positive 4 plus negative 3 is positive 1. Okay? Next, on our denominator, so let's factor it. So, x times x because the factors of x squared is x times x. Next, what are the factors of negative 8? So, think of a number. If we multiply, the answer is negative 8. And if we add them, the answer is positive 2. So, we have 4 times negative 2 because... 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And then 4 plus negative 2 is positive 2. Now, let's simplify. Since 4, x plus 4 is the same with x plus 4, so that is cancel. So, the simplified form of this equation is x minus 3 over x minus 2. So, that is our final answer. So if you have more questions, please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. And that's how we end our lesson for today. Bye-bye!